In today's video, we will break into the middle of a training session with Michael helping our friend Pat and her young German Shepherd dog. Michael is helping Pat train positions, the sit, the down, the stand. When her dog starts to misbehave, he jumps up on her and he barks. You will listen to Michael talk to Pat about how she needs to handle this behavior and correct it now before it gets worse. To break out of the position, don't repeat the com no, sit. No, sit. sit. Good. Nope, sit. So get used to telling him, uh-uh, you're wrong when you break, out, break it, not repeat the command constantly, right? So when my dog's sitting, when he breaks it, I don't want to keep saying sit, keep saying sit. Just tell him, uh-uh, when he's breaking it, and tell him whatever his non-reinforcement cue is, and make him continue to do it, right? right. Okay. I haven't done that, so. Yeah, so, no, but he's ready. Like, so he's doing these things nicely. He's engaged with you. He's focused. He's doing these th pieces nicely. So now is the time to start to push for duration in the behaviors. Once the dog is doing the behaviors correctly with good energy and he's staying focused, the next step, no, sit. Sit. Good boy. Good. Good. No, sit. Uh-uh, sit. So you need to stop that before he gets to that stage, right? That's all right to stop him from jumping? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, you told him to sit. Sitting and jumping on you are not. <laughs> Hell yeah. Like, no, no, no. no. Well, I, I, <laughs> yeah. Know, I don't want to put him in a trauma when he's going to jump on the bed. No, it's totally separate things. Okay. Like, totally different Thank things. Yeah. yeah. I can stop that. Yeah, yeah. You, you shouldn't have let it begin from the beginning, right? So, like, that, the dog's. Like, the longer we let a dog do something and try to stop it, the more stressful it is for the dog, right? So, jumping on you and biting in the bite work are two totally different things. Right? So if you don't want your dog to jump on you, then don't teach him to jump on you in the beginning, or don't let him jump. Yeah, I know, I know. People will say that all the time. Like, people are, are constantly with, like, oh, yeah, you have to let, when the, in the clubs that I started in, it was like, oh, yeah, you have to let your puppy bite you, you have to let him jump on you, of course, they're going to be dog aggressive, of course, you know, you have to let him drag you around on the leash, you have to do all this stuff, right? But it's not true, right? So those things are different situations for the dog. What the dog does in bite work and whether or not they jump on you are two totally separate things. Now, if the very first time my puppy came out and tried to bite my pant leg, I punched, pu I punched him in the head, then for sure I could affect his desire to do bite work, right? But in terms of, like, your dog jumps on you, you say, no, you don't get to jump on me. Uh-uh. Like, that's not a part of it. And that's totally different than what the, whether or not they're going to jump on the guy when they're doing bite work. Not the same things at all, right? You can't beat them up for stuff when they're little puppies, but you can basically set the rules. No. Well, I start with, my little puppies don't jump on, don't get to jump on me. They jump on me and I say, nope, you don't get to do that. And they stop and I say, yes, you get rewarded, right? If I don't want them to. If I don't care, then I let them jump on me and they're going to continue to jump on you for their life, right? You're not going to later on say, okay, you know, a year and a half of you slamming into me and jumping on me and now I'm going to start correcting you for it. That's unfair. So you're better off to set some guidelines in the beginning uh, than let them do something and then change it when they're older. That's much harder on the dog than if they just learned a certain way to do it in the beginning, okay? But the positions, like, you've done a good job there. Like, she, he's getting it, so now he needs to start showing some patience, holding the positions and working that way, okay? So, go ahead. Puppy from jumping on you, do you use a correction or a misdirection? I use a lot of redirection, and then I take stuff that the dog wants, and every time they jump on me, like I have food, and every time they jump on me, I say, nope, and I tuck the food away, and they don't get it until they keep their feet on the ground. And every time their feet are on the ground, they get rewarded for keeping their feet on the ground, right? So if I start with a puppy, it's relatively easy. Like, I have something you want, it's here, their natural thing is to jump up on you. Every time they do, I simply go, nope. And when their feet stay on the ground, I say yes and reward them, and, and pretty soon they're keeping their feet on the ground, and they figure out that jumping up is not gonna work for them. Huh? So it's just one of those things that, w that you create. And you shouldn't really have to correct them much right? when they're little. If you've let it develop and they're jumping on you and you're petting them and wrestling them with them and stuff, then for sure they're going to want to jump on you and then it's going to be harder. right?